Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So this house was built well before the 70s, uh, 1940s I think I saw in the sheetrock. Anyway, I've been checking around for lead paint. It looks like on the interior of the house there's no lead paint. But on the exterior here, I'm pretty sure this is lead paint because this is a very pasty white color which is very different from the other paints. But I went and got a lead test here. This uh, contains a small amount of radozinate and a solvent. And I'll be using this to uh, check for the lead. All right, so let's uh, score the paint a little bit so we can get in there real deep. Just to make sure that we're uh, getting through. I'm just going to crush these little glass ampules. There we go. There we go. See, it's turned a nice uh, yellow-orange color. Get a little of this going into the rag. I'll rub this on here and see if it changes color. Okay, I definitely see some red color. It looks like the uh, paint underneath this uh, outer one actually contains the most lead. See how it turned a nice pink color in there? That's definitely lead right there. So there's something I want to try now that I have some lead-based paint. Is This stuff's uh, flaking off, so it'll be pretty easy for me to get some. I want to take a bunch of this, crush it up, mix it with flux, and uh, heat it up and see if I can actually extract the lead from it. I think that'd be a pretty fun little thing to try, yeah? Okay, so I got my uh, paint chips here. Let's go uh, furnace them down and see what happens. Okay, so here's the lead paint. I've kind of been crushing it up a little bit. It's sort of flexible, so it's a little bit difficult to crush, but shouldn't be that big of a problem. So I'm gonna mix it with flux. So I have some uh, borax here. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this to help make the uh, material runnier and the lead droplets that form uh, fall out of solution. Crucible here. A little graphite crucible that I picked up on eBay for about $5. I'm just going to fill this right the way up. As much in there as I can get it. This will probably be a, a few grams of this lead paint. So, not very much. So, I shouldn't really expect very large pieces of lead droplets coming out of this. But, if it does contain like a percentage of lead, I should be able to easily detect it. And uh, this uh, crucible comes with a lid, so I may as well use it. So now it's all sealed together into a little balm. And now I can put it inside of my furnace. And I'm going to heat it to about 1700 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's lower it in. The, uh, car the carbon in the paint and in the wood that's stuck to the paint chips will react with the lead to uh, make it into elemental form, which will be metallic, and that'll uh, precipitate out and hopefully form a nice little bead. All right, let's close this up. Let it heat up over the next uh, probably an hour or so. And uh, in the meantime, I'll clean up all these little lead chips that I spilled. Okay, we're at uh, almost a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. We got a little bit of smoke coming up. Let's have a look in there. Oh, caught fire. Yeah, there's definitely carbon in that paint then. All right, so it looks like the furnace is around 1,700 degrees. Let's uh, crack this open and see what we got. Oh well, yeah, it's very hot. Pull this out. Let's pull this lid off of this. There we go. Yeah, definitely had carbon in there still. Most of it just vaporized out. Let's pour this off. Did you see any metal? Oh, I see metal, right there on the edge. See that? Right there. As it cooled off, it broke into several pieces. Let's take these out. Doesn't look like these pieces have any lead in them. Maybe there, but I'm not sure. But this piece definitely has a chunk of lead in it. You can see the nice shiny bead of lead. Let's uh, break it out of this so that we can actually uh, see the thing without the flux attached to it or slag I guess at this point oh there it is flew off all right so a nice little tiny piece of lead there looks like about one to one and a half millimeters across so it's very tiny but uh, yeah it definitely shows that there is in fact lead there in probably a fairly large percentage because I was able to actually extract it. Let's uh, rub it on the paper, see if it leaves a mark. That definitely leaves a mark on the paper, see that? 
All right, got a little piece of lead here, extracted from lead paint. That is cool. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.